Alright, so stay your name and where you from? Ricky Walters from Queens. Alright, so what do you like about New York? Um, diversity, everything's close. Um, you can get anywhere pretty much, like, this is 24 hours, anything, so. What do you like about Queens? Queens is just, it's like the cleanest borough, in my opinion. Um, we're just like cool, chill people. Um, it's like we have everything, kind of, but just like on a minor scale, like on the low, so. What do you dislike about New York? What I dislike about New York? Um, potholes. Um, fuck, man, what else? I don't know. Snow, everything like that. <laughs> Pretty much. Dislike about Queens? Traffic on the Hawaii. Pretty much, yeah. So you been in the different boroughs? Yeah, I lived in the Bronx for a little bit. I lived in the city for a little bit. So tell me like how like how you perceive each one, like different. The Bronx is. I lived in like a really Dominican spot, kind of, but like I don't know. They didn't really. I guess I. I'm so Queens. I guess that when I went there, they would uh. They kind of knew that I wasn't from there, so they kind of like try to check me and shit. So it was like, uh, like what the fuck, like. They asking like questions, like interrogations. I'm like, yo. Yeah. But it was I. Right. It was just like retarded. But everything was close by Yankee Stadium. The gym was like two blocks away. But yeah, everything was cheaper too. <laughs> Queens. Queens. What do I like about Queens? Well, just tell me, like, like what is it like? I guess. The same way you described, like living. Well, I feel like Queens has like everything. Like you want some like Jamaican food, mm -hmm. you go to Jamaica. You want some Asian food, you go to Flushing, you can hit every, like, I love food. You can, you have, like, different sites. I go to a freaking, like, by Throg's Neck, you can go chill, by College Point, by the LIC Piers is lit. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole bunch of, like, you go to Astoria, Astoria's, like, another part, like, we have everything, pretty much. Manhattan? Just, Manhattan. It's just crowded. You don't have to, you're gonna get, like, a, I was just crap. It's it's cool, but like it's one of those like save it for the weekends or every other weekend type thing. Like, not really. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Not gonna lie, I kind of been to um. I went to Coney Island and um. The Brooklyn Dumbo, and Brooklyn Bridge and some other bridge. I actually walked across Brooklyn Bridge this summer, so it's pretty cool. I like the bars and all that. So they're getting they're growing on me, Brooklyn. Shout out B, BK. Staten Island? Staten Island. Well, Wu-Tang, my boy Cody lives out there. But other than that, like, I don't really know much. I know it's a ferry. Nothing really interesting out there, but I can't really knock it. It's, it's New York at the end of the day. What's a regular day like for you? Regular day. Well, regular day, regular life. Regular day, regular life. Um, Just work, wake up in the morning, go to work. I gotta walk my dog before that and after that, and then come back. If I have a side job to do, I'll do that. Where are you work and stuff? Uh, I work with like in construction, HVAC, I do plumbing, mm -hmm. pretty much like all the types of home improvement. I'm trying to start my own company soon. So, yeah. check out the Instagram, Ricky Walters. Hit me up on that. I got some work for cheap. Not for cheap, but it depends on <laughs> what you want. Um, where would you say would be the best place to go party in New York City? The best place to go party? I'd have to give, depends what kind of party you want to do, but like, you go to LES if you want, you can go, you can go to Pasha, there's Webster, my friends went to Webster last night, they said it was a popping time. Um, you can go to Astoria, first time I chill night, you can go where else is there. La Marina's where in like Harlem, up. Like up top by Dykeman. So it's like all over you can find something. Like it's New York, like 24 hours, just something. Like before you, if you want to party before you go <laughs> to work in the morning, you can go, go find one. Who would you say is your favorite New York like musician? Like that's from here, it could be past or present. Born here? New York rapper. New York rapper. New York, New York it's RB singer, it could be anything. No, I would say, um, I give it a 50 cent, I think. 50 cent would definitely be. I look up to him a little bit, I'll say. Why? Um, he just basically like get rich of that trying, like he did everything he said he was gonna do and he's still like hungry and 
it was like a subtle like he's able to progress into like a business world easily because I feel like as Queens people we we're not so like out there as grimy as like we're we're clean we might get you on the low but like we're not really out bragging and talking crazy we're kind of like low key like Queens is we have like Nas and low key have a dude we'll wrap the shit out of it like 50 was low key till like he came out and like basically changed the game and he still like has I drank FM yesterday two days ago like he's doing his thing, some kid from Queens, so like it's easy to see that, especially with other people. Like you see J. Cole comes to Queens, he enjoys it's different, like you have to I guess mention it because it's a different type of place. Like it's there's no place like Queens at the end of the day. Like I would move away, but at the end of the day Queens is back on my home. So yeah. So how was it growing up here? Growing up was hot. The nineties was lit. It was it was different, like he was out socializing with people. Like he was out running around with your friends, like busting your ass, break like running with, like just chasing each other, playing man, but like not really you would barely get time to play video games. Like that was when you were home, but it was just like we didn't have cell phones, like you had to remember somebody's house number and then hit them up or like wait till the next day to see them, like, you know, like everything so everything changed but at the same time I guess I grew up at this the right time, right before like the new era came. So I saw like Everything from like the tube screens to like the flat screens to the, the cars I like growing up is different than the cars I see now. It's like totally, totally different. Uh, what's your opinion on the NYPD? NYPD, um, I would say I I know that I record everything that when I when I get in contact with the cops just for my own safety. But at the end of the day, I respect cops. Like, if you, they, everyone has their job. And at the same time, like, you can't really, if a cop's getting, getting shot, he's gonna shoot at you. So, like, you kind of have to, like, play by the thin line. But at the same time, like, there's no reason for you to be drawing your arm. Like, you should also, like, they should tase people. If you gotta shoot somebody, like, tase somebody. Like, not kill somebody, shoot them, like, 30 times. And I feel like, I don't like the attitude they have. Like, they'll talk down to you kind of disrespectfully. Like, you barely see them socialize with people. Like, that's one thing. Like, they're so separated from people that people, you look at them like, they're like night owls. Like, they're about to get you. Like, they're about to get you. Like, it's not like you can, oh, that's officer such and such. Like, mm -hmm. he a cool dude. He played ball or something like that. You can't say that. So you kind of like, oh, it's that same dude. Maybe it's, he looks like the other guy. Like, he looks like the guy who looks like the guy who shot the guy on TV. Like, damn, like. You don't want you don't want that, so it's kind of like I would just say like cops are just socializing people. Like I know cops that are great people, good cops. I know I've met cops in my life that have legit like pretty much assaulted me. But like at the end of the day, it's just certain respect levels. And what's the craziest thing you've seen in New York? Craziest thing I've seen in New York. I see my boy Clyde run across the train station tracks. Right before I get the two trains fast, but that's um other than that craziest thing I've seen. I don't know. What like what's crazy to most people are probably not crazy to me, like it's just I don't know. You see so much shit in it's New York, like you see ratchet, nasty, crazy, like I seen someone die in the street, like I seen some naked lady run down the train station. I seen fucking I don't know how I seen fucking people. I don't even like what happened. <laughs> you see everything. You see fucking. I saw a chicken run down the block one time. Like what the fuck? <laughs>